a Russian with the call sign Silver, joined the Russian-Ukrainian war and volunteered for the Storm Z unit, which fought in the Donbass. He supported Ukraine and acted following the secret plan of the Freedom of Russia Legion Command. At some point, Silver blew up the commander and went over to the side of the Ukrainian forces. The combat path of the Russian pro-Ukrainian volunteer was told on the YouTube channel Vidu Shivdushu. In the first minutes of the conversation, Silva said that he was 24 years old and three months ago in the summer, he was at the front in the Ocheritain area west of Avdiivka in the Donbass. The Russian volunteered for the army and served for four months in the Storm Z unit before the transition. Former prisoners served alongside him, convicts, who were shot to force obedience. According to him, there was a man among the Russians who volunteered to personally carry out the execution. He cleaned up every tenth person. He shot every tenth person personally, right in the head, right before the formation. They thought maybe they would have more motivation. The commander approved, the Russian explained. Silva also spoke about the habit of the commanders of the Russian armed forces to zero out soldiers. The main reason for such actions is the refusal to storm Ukrainian positions, escape from the trenches, refusal to return to positions, refusal to bring ammunition and pull out the wounded. According to him, this is done by the entourage of the officer who leads the unit. Special people are not allocated for this. In addition, the volunteer explained why he did not join the SLR, having left the Russian Federation abroad. According to him, this option did not suit him, so he signed a contract to immediately go over to the Ukrainian side. At the same time, Silva began operating in September 2023, and already in February, he resolved all the issues. While going through the formalities, the Russian consulted with the Legion. One of his operations at the front was emptying a mine warehouse of an adjacent unit. When he decided to end his service, he blew up the commander of the Storm Z and crossed the front line. North Korea said Saturday it found the remains of a South Korean drone during a search in its capital, Pyongyang, claiming the drone proved the South's military was behind the alleged drone infiltrations over the city's skies earlier in the month. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff in a statement described the North Korean claim as unilateral and unworthy of responding. The North's official Korean Central News Agency released photos showing a seemingly damaged aircraft with wide, V-shaped wings and winglets. It said a joint investigation by North Korea's military and state security agencies concluded that the aircraft, which it said was found on October 13, was the same type of drone that appeared in a South Korean military parade earlier in October. North Korea accused South Korea of flying drones over the night skies of Pyongyang three different times this month to drop anti-North Korean propaganda leaflets. It threatened to respond with force if such flights occur again. The aircraft allegedly found in Pyongyang was likely one of the drones that were used to drop leaflets, North Korea's defense ministry said, but further examinations were needed to verify that. Should South Korea deny that the aircraft was used to drop leaflets, that would only confess to a separate infiltration of North Korea's airspace by the South's military, the ministry said. If North Korea confirms another violation of its territorial ground, airspace and waters by the South's military, that will be regarded as a declaration of war and an immediate retaliatory attack will be launched, the ministry added. South Korea's defense minister initially made a vague denial after the North's October 11 accusation that the South sent drones over Pyongyang. The South's military adjusted its response hours later, saying it couldn't confirm whether or not the North's claims were true. Tensions on the Korean peninsula are now at their worst in years as North Korean leader Kim Jong-un ramps up his weapons tests and threats, and expands military cooperation with Russia, with South Korea claiming the North dispatched troops to support Russia's war against Ukraine. The animosity has been exacerbated by Cold War-style psychological warfare campaigns between the Koreas in recent months. Since May, North Korea has sent thousands of balloons carrying paper waste, plastic and other trash to drop on the South. The South's military has responded by using loudspeakers at the border to broadcast propaganda and K-pop to North Korea. North Korea is extremely sensitive to any outside criticism of Kim's authoritarian government and his family's dynastic rule.